the dog at the well don't go near the well don't play around it mother dog said to her children and they never came to the well but once a little puppy ran to the well and stopped there he thought why can't i go to the well then the puppy jumped onto the well to look into it as he climbed up the well he saw another puppy the puppy wagged his tail and the puppy in the well did the same then the puppy held his paws up and the same the puppy became angry with the puppy in the well he wanted to fight with him so he jumped into the well but there was no puppy to fight with but only water he cried for help 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 but no one came to the well he went down under the cold water and nobody saw him again moral of the story always listen to what your elders say the wolf and the crane one day a hungry wolf found dead animal wow it will make for wonderful meal thought the wolf and started eating it. suddenly a piece of bone struck in his throat he tried hard to take it out but he couldn't succeed in his effort the wolf began whining with pain the pain was unbearable the wolf got worried and began thinking the pain will subside in due course but what will happen if the bone doesn't come out i won't be able to eat anything and i will starve to death suddenly he recalled that there was a crane who lived on the banks of the nearby lake he immediately went to the crane and said my friend i have a bone struck deep in my throat if you could please pull it out of my throat with your long beak i shall pay you suitably for your help and remain ever grateful to you the crane saw his pitiable condition and agreed to help him he put his long beak and in the process half of his neck also deep into the throat of the wolf and pulled out the bone the wolf was very happy to have the bone pulled out of his throat now pay me my service please the cunning wolf laughed ha 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 pay me your service i have already rewarded you without biting your head run away from here else i will kill you the crane was very much disappointed and ran away to save his life moral of the story never believe a wicked person's promise whose god is this once upon a time a farmer was crossing a forest carrying a kid of goat after walking some distance a pilgrim came across him the pilgrim liked the kid of goat the kid of goat is very cute you have been carrying this for a very long time give it to me i can carry for some distance the pilgrim asked they traveled through the forest chatting After walking some distance, the farmer said to the pilgrim, "I am giving you trouble. Let me take my goat. No mention. It is no trouble at all. I will give it to you after crossing the forest. Always, your goat will be with you," said the pilgrim. They crossed the forest at the evening. Sir, I have to go in a separate way. You have helped me a lot. Give my goat. I have to go. The farmer said to the pilgrim. The pilgrim argued that the goat was his own and he would not give it. The farmer was surprised. They argued for some more time. People gathered there. They could not understand whose goat was it. They went to the leader of the village. Sir, this goat is mine. This pilgrim is telling lies. Please do justice to me, the farmer said. 
No, no, this gold is mine. This farmer is telling lies. Don't do injustice to me, said the pilgrim. To decide whose goat it is. Leader said, Both of you leave this goat here and stay in the inn. Tomorrow, we will decide whose goat this is. Both the farmer and the pilgrim stayed in the inn. Next morning, the leader of the village appeared. He took both of them to the crowd of goats and asked them to find their goat. The pilgrim could not recognize the goat. But the farmer recognized his goat among the other goats. The goat ran happily to the farmer. Moral of the story Truth is like fire. Judgment of a monkey to two cats. Once upon a time, there lived two cats in a forest. Their names were Chintu and Mintu. They used to go anywhere for food in the forest. They used to share and eat the food they acquired. But as we know that the situations will always not be same, they had not found food for some weeks. They were hungry. After a long search, they found a bread. They took the bread and ran to a tree. They reached under the tree. They were fighting for the bread. I had seen the bread first, Chintu said. But I have taken the bread first. In this way, the two cats were fighting for the bread. Their quarrel was non-stop. A monkey saw the two cats quarreling severely. Chintu and Mintu are quarreling, fighting for just one bread. It is beneficial for me. The monkey got down from the tree and departed the two cats and said, Chintu, Mintu, why are you both fighting for this small thing? Take half either of you. This is the solution for it. You both are in anger. If you don't mind, I will share it equally between you both, advised the monkey. The two cats thought it was reasonable and gave the bread to the monkey. The monkey parted the bread in two parts. They were going to take the pieces happily. But the monkey said, Oh no! One piece is bigger! The monkey ate some of the big piece of the bread. Oh shit! Now the other piece has become bigger! It ate a part of the piece from the second bigger part. In this way, the monkey ate the two pieces completely and climbed the tree. The innocent cats were surprised. The monkey said, Ah, the bread is very tasty. My hunger is satisfied. I may go now. Chintu and Mintu were disappointed and went away. Moral of the story, the quarrel between two persons is beneficial for the third person. The story of a blue fox. Once upon a time, in a forest, many years ago, there lived a fox. He was a very naughty fox. He used to trouble everyone living in that jungle. One day, he was extremely hungry. So, he went in search of food. He wanted to reach the nearby village and search some food. On the way to the village, a group of dogs started to chase him. He was afraid and he began running as fast as he could. In his hurry to escape, he sees a tub. As he tries to hide, he hits himself in that tub and that tub was filled with blue color water. After a long search, the dogs were tired. As they could not find him, they went away. After some time, he comes out of the tub. As there was blue color in the tub, he also turned into blue color. But he could not see himself. 
he was relieved that the dogs have left him and within a second he went back to his place the animals in the jungle were afraid to see a blue fox they began talking among themselves and when they saw this blue fox coming towards them they began running away from him the fox could not understand why all the animals were running after some time he felt thirsty he went to the nearby pond and drank water while drinking water he sees his reflection in the sea in the reflection he appeared blue he was quite afraid very soon all the animals again gathered to talk as they saw the fox coming back they began running here and there the blue color scares the most of animals and they began running away he thinks this is the time to take advantage of the blue color he asks the frightened animals why are you all so afraid why are you all running away from me god has made me this way he told me that the jungle has no ruler and the animals have no one to guide them so he has sent me to be your king from now on i will be the king of this jungle and you all will be safe in my rule and my protection the animals were very innocent and they all believed him all the animals decided that they would treat the blue fox as their king from now he was very happy one day a group of foxes began to howl he also was a fox and like a true fox he gets up and howls in response to other foxes the animals realize that he was not a special creation but just a normal fox they got angry and began beating him moral of the story we should never utilize our advantage in a bad manner